Let's update our solutions to the advent of code 2021 day 15 and day 23 puzzles using Go's new support for generic type parameters. For the day 15 puzzle, we used a slice of arrays to avoid the bother of writing a heap-based work queue. But then for the day 23 puzzle, we wrote the code anyway. So let's wrap it up into a library so we don't ever have to do that again. Uh, to start with, let's copy the work queue implementation. Let's uh, make a file called work.go in the AOC directory. Why is it upset? New. There we go. Um, and you know, to start with, we actually have not had a module because they've all been single file programs with no imports of dependencies, but we're gonna need one now. So make a new module called AOC. All right. And then here, we're gonna want the package AOC and we're just gonna copy all the work code from our other solution. So that was down here, work cost, so all of that, paste it in. All right, let's see. All right, that seems like it's somewhat working. At least compile, or type, it's not even type checking, it's parsing. But let's now change this to use it. Let's say we're gonna import AOC. Yeah, you're very funny, go imports. Uh, let's take all the work code out. And I'll make go imports happier. And then this is AOC.newwork. And that's actually the only mention. So let's change that to AOC. All right, undefined board. Oh, did we take the board definition? Oh no, board is undefined there. That makes sense, because that's what we actually want to generify. So let's uh, change the board to state. And then work is going to be work of state. It's going to be parameterized by a type. That's the whole point of this. All right, and state here is anything. Actually, no, it has to be comparable. And to get comparable, we just say comparable. All right, um, how are we doing? All type parameters must be named. Uh, that is true, new work has to do there. All right, let's see, undefined state. All right, well, that is Probably true. Where did we miss a state there? So heap entry is also has to have a state comparable. And actually, I think I just typed state any somewhere. Didn't I? Yes. Well, let's see what happens. Ah, there we go. State does not implement comparable. Um, oh, I added some lines. So those errors aren't in the same place as they would be. Let's get them again. There we go. State does not implement comparable. So you can't have work of state here. Perfect, but if I say comparable, I can. Great, can I use generic heap entry of state without instantiation? That is true, everywhere we said heap entry, we have to say heap entry of state now. All right, let's see, how are we doing? Can't convert W, ah, by cost, we have to do the same thing. By cost is work of state. Whoops, type by cost of state comparable is work of state. Get. All right, now we're getting somewhere. This is by cost of state, by cost of state, by cost of state. Nice. This too is, oh, let's just do all of these. Some of them are already tagged, so I'll get rid of, oh. let's see. Very nice, cannot infer state. That is fair enough, it's bored. Whoa, that <laughs> worked. I was not expecting to be done. Uh, cool, all right, so we just did a whole bunch of replacements to actually parameterize the type and everything works. That's pretty cool, so now, Let's, uh, let's go and do the same thing on day 15. Let's see, um, where's our work queue? This is our crummy little work queue here, the, the 20 times n arrays. So now we can say aoc.newwork of point, 
that's a work queue of points. And then, uh, let's see. I think here we have to say work.add p. And then, oh, p times distance, like that. There we go. Um, do we need that still? We may not need that, that check, but let's see. And then here we'll say work.add. 0, 0, and we wanted to give it this score, and then we need the prev, so this will be its own prev as usual. All right, and then for each, we'll say for not empty, um, p equals next, p comma distance equals v next, and then visit p. So at the moment, at least, we don't seem to need the distance. But we do have to pass it to add so that it knows what order to put them in. Let's watch go run x dot go. Both arguments and call to work dot add. Well, that is true. Um, let's see. Okay, this is the big one. So let's see what answer we're supposed to get here. Um, Twenty eight seventy nine is the answer. All right, let's see. Not w.empty. Oh, we, we called it work. Let's call it w. 100. <laughs> I don't think that's the answer. Um, so we clearly haven't quite gotten this because we don't remember this code very well. So let's see. We shouldn't need this distance array anymore because we should be able to be told the distance by the work queue. So let's see. Um, let's just try getting rid of that. We can always bring it back. We have the point, AOC is new work of point, add equals func of point distance. And we'll say, okay, those we still wanna get rid of. And then here we compute the right distance. And then here, I think we just wanna say w.add ppd, or no, prev, prev pd. That's not the bug though, because um, it doesn't care about the prevs to get the, uh, the score. Um, Let's see. Yeah, because it's going to take care of maintaining the distances for us. So I think we should be able to just do that. And then here, we'll pass in the distance that it told us, PD. And we're going to want to pass in the previous one. Oh, it knows the previous one, because the previous one is this. Uh, that's P. P, 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 and that's the win. But the win has to happen when we get visited, not, not there, but when we uh, bring it back. Say, there we go. Let's see, Let's see if that's any happier. Uh, we lost N, what was N? N must be the length of this grid, right? variables. Yeah, we don't need that anymore. 2870. That's close. I wonder where we get 100 and 2870. Oh, because I printed the length of the grid. That was the 100 we saw before. It just wasn't even finding an answer. Well, that's believable. All right, 2870, but it's 2879. And the problem is almost certainly this, uh, this last one here. Um, I think we just forgot to add the cost. I think we just have the int grid of p.x, p.y. Because we used to print it after we had done that. Um, minus zero. There we go. And now we should be able to get the path out, which we didn't bother with before. But let's try that. Let's say, um, let's see, how should we represent the path? Let's make the path be a new grid. And uh, let's see. What should we do? Let's say the path equals make slice of slice of byte length of grid equals range path. Path of i equals make slice of byte and grid of i. We're just making a copy of everything we need. Copy path of i, grid of i. Great. And then, uh, actually, no, we won't copy it. We'll just say the j equals range path of i, path of Path of ij equals star, just to hide 
everything. So just a grid of stars. Let's see if this works. Um, for each path and range, for each row and range path, just do print f percent s row. If we do println, it'll print all the integers, which is insanely annoying. All right, that that works. You know what? I don't want to do the big one. Let's just do the little one. Um, so we just get rid of the replicator. And now we're back down to this, this nicer one, which was uh, 540. Um, something's not right, though. Why are there so many stars? Oh, right. What was the input? Let's see. Oh, it's still huge. OK. Yeah. All right, cool. So now let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. We want to say for each point in uh, the path to P, we want to copy, we'll say path of P dot X, P dot Y um, equals grid of P dot X, P dot Y. So we bring the numbers back. There we go. Get this in a fix with font. Make it even bigger. There we go. This is the path that it's taking. That's kind of cool. I would not have bothered to print the path before. And the only problem is it's not getting the right answer, which is pretty annoying. Um, let's see. Let's see. It says my answer was 540. Well, maybe that minus really wasn't right. Let's see. So if I just print D, 531. I'm still off by nine. Why am I off by nine? Um, you know what? Let's let's not do this silliness. Let's just call it zero. Let's see what happens. That's five hundred and forty. It says. Hmm. All right. What was the what was the rule in this one? It said that the lowest the starting position is never entered, so that one is not counted. So we get to be here for free. And then when we did the visit stuff, we added the cost of that one. All right, well, that actually looks right. So that's 540. And then if we go back to the old, well, I don't have that code anymore. <laughs> Should probably have version control on these. But if we put the old one back, I bet it would work. So cool. So that is the path. We were just subtracting this out when it was already gone. Um, and that's how we get there. So that's pretty cool. And that is using generics to uh, avoid ever having to write a work queue again. And have a nice day.